Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Chart Show with me, your host, Golzab. As always, we're going to be counting down the top 10 videos of the week. And by now you know I'm joined by a very special guest. My guest this week is a musical sensation, a global phenomena. He's been doing really, really well on the charts. His song, Teke Wali, has actually been number one for a couple of weeks now. It is, of course, Jazz Dami. Now, before I bring him onto the show, I'm going to get your shout outs across. Um, so, I was going to read out a few of them because I get loads. Thank you guys so much for the support of the show. It's been overwhelming and fantastic. So, I'm just going to read out your shout, uh, shout outs now. Um, first one, Sandeep Corgill. Hi, girls. I hope you're doing well. My name is Sandeep and I'm from Huddersfield. I'd like to give a big shout out to my sister, Roman Gill, on your Friday show as she's graduating. Uh, I'd like to wish her all the best for the future and tell her we love her loads from mum, dad, Bhavan and Sony, which is you. That's very sweet. Wasim Akram, can you give a shout out to my sister? It was a 23rd birthday on Sunday, so happy birthday. Pav Singh, hi Gulzab, how are you doing? Would you give a big shout out um, to me because I'm turning 25. P.S. Your show is off the hook. <laughs> Haminda Chohan, hi Gulzab, love the chart show. Doing a great job. Please can you shout out my friends Seema, Tara and Artie and Bhavan. We all watch the chart show and love it. Navy Dami, hi Golzeb, the chart show is a great show, never miss it, an episode of it. Keep it up, the guests you have had on so far have been great. Could you and Jazz Dami do a shout out to my brother Hobbsy, who is going to be 31 next week. Love from his little sister Navy, so I'll definitely get him to do that for you later. Prabjot Kaur, hi Golzeb, just want to say I love you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, as you're going to be doing the chart show tomorrow with Jazz Dami, I was wondering if you could send out a shout out to my best friend Kat Kaur, as she loves jazz. Uh, please can I request a song for her, any of Jazz's songs, so I'm sure we'll be seeing on the chart show this week anyway. Thank you again for your lovely compliments. Uh, Baby Craig, your interviews are wicked, the only interview programme I watch. A shout out to Baby, so that's yourself, and Project from Bradford, um, so that's done. Thank you guys for your shout outs. Let's check out what's number 10 this week. Come right back and I'll be joined by the sensational Jazz Dami. <laughs> Jazz. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for coming down today. Thank you for having me today. Now, I was mentioning in the link earlier, you've had phenomenal success with Teke Wali. Yeah. How's that going? Getting <laughs> correct with you. Say it. How do you say it's it? It's called Teke Wali. You know, I am Punjabi, but I, can, I still can't say it. Teke Wali. Teke Wali. Yeah. So you did I say it right? Yeah, you said it right, yeah. Right, so you've had really good success with that single. Yes, it's done really well. I've got a lot of love and support from my fans, and um, I'm really excited for the rest of the album as well. So how did you come, out, come about with the song? Did you write Take, the words for it? How did it come along? Take It Wally was actually done last year. It was finished last year, uh, March. So what have you been waiting for? I was just there. Uh, I just thought, <laughs> I, think, I thought this was the right time as, as it was a summer period. So um, I actually, Om and Hair and me compose it together. Yeah. And um, obviously Om and Hair done the music for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, a guy called Santok Desi is based in Southall in right. London. He, um, yeah. <laughs> he wrote Representing the song. Representing the Southall massive. <laughs> <laughs> He wrote the song and then we just got into the studio and we sang, sang the song. What was it like working with Amen? Amen is um, he, so insp inspirational because he's such a good artist, um, yeah. not only a good producer, he's an excellent musician. Mm -hmm. So I think working with him, it was, really, it was really good because it gave me the opportunity to deliver what I wanted to do as well. So it's really good. Really good. So just tell me overall, what have you been doing? What did you do today? How have okay. the past few weeks been going along? Because you've been okay. very busy because you're obviously yes, promoting your single yes. and you're planning to do the videos of lots of other singles as well. So yeah. how's your day and your week and month year been so far? Well, it's been, um, the past eight months have been crazy. I've, yeah. been, I've been gigging up and down the country mm -hmm. and just booking up my tours for abroad as well. Um, it's been crazy. Obviously, my first single was Sonamunda. Mm -hmm. um, I got a lot of love and support for that single. And then my second, second um, vid song was Rojmilia, yeah. yeah. shot in um, Las Vegas. And obviously it's, it's Take Your Body, um, my latest single. And now we're just leading up to the album, which is due to come out on the 24th. Now, like. to be fair, you've only done three songs. Four, actually. Four? Sadi Jinjan, I'm, I'm in his album. Oh, that was, you guest vocaled on that, yes, didn't you? Yes, yes. But for your own songs, yeah. you've only done three, and you've yes. like got a lot, of, a lot of success. A lot of support, yeah, from my fans. Thank uh, you Why that is? Why you? Because there's a lot of artists out there who I've interviewed, and they've, they're like on their fifth album or their yeah. sixth album, and they're still yeah. trying to make a name for themselves. Yeah. Why do you think? you've become so successful well um i think it comes down to my 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 style my style of singing it's uh, i think I, I my style is because i'm just <laughs> so hot <laughs> <laughs> no i feel it's um probably my style of singing because i've obviously um i've, I've taken a different approach to my music mm -hmm. um every song i've delivered it's been different uh be it chadi jinjan um sona munda rojbili and tekiwali so I, i've tried to li deliver something new every time so uh, probably because of that so yeah do you think the success has come too soon 
Um, no, or because do you think I've, it's like you've been waiting far too long for it. I have been waiting a long time. I've been singing since the age of nine, so God. for me, I've always been in the industry. It's just not, I wasn't recognised for what I was doing. Right, right. So um, um, I definitely not. I, I definitely think I'm it's well deserved. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Well, on the chart show, here's someone who's obviously been recognised for what they're doing. This is number nine. Hi, right, Jazz. So I was doing my research on you, and um, you've also just mentioned yourself that yeah. you've been singing since you were nine. Yeah. Um, in your biography, it says that your dad actually recognised yeah. that you're a good singer. How did that? Can you explain to me that day when you were at home? How did that happen? Okay, basically, I was at home, and um, my dad used to love this song from a film called Janam. It's a very delicate dharakata. The song, the name of the song was. And um, we just sat together, he, he helped me write the lyrics, dictate, dictate the lyrics for me. And then I actually figured out the song and the harmony myself, and I sang the song to my dad. And uh, at that time, my dad was learning off Ustad Ajisa Matlashi, he's based in Birmingham. Wow. He's taught the likes of Sikshinda Shindabaji and Shin is from DCS as well. Wow. So I was, I was, um, my dad was learning off Ajisa Matlashi Ji, and he took me to Matlashi Ji, and he said, look, Mina Munda. Take him under your wing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so I was, I was learning off Matlashi Ji for five to six years. Mm -hmm. Then obviously I continued my training uh, in Punjab from Professor Hari Dev Ji. And then came back to England. I went to Paul McCartney School of Music in Liverpool. Liverpool, yes. Yeah, you've done you've done a lot of studying. Yes, I have. I have definitely. I've, I've um, my first degree was in India, mm -hmm. in Indian classical music. Where did you do that? I've done that at Chandigarh University. Oh. My syllabus was based from Chandigarh University, but I was studying in actually um, Goraya, which is in Punjab. Right, right. And then um, after that, I um, my second degree was done at. Um, the London College of Music and Media, which is based in Ealing. Yeah, <laughs> in Ealing. You won't yeah. mention what that is, but it's cool. Based in Ealing. And um, I studied there for three years. Um, previously, sorry, previously, before that, I was studying at Paul McCartney School of Music. Yeah. And then I went out to Mumbai again for another year. So you've been starting the mainstream. like Because being a Bhangra singer, yeah. you're always going to be in the Asian market. Yeah. Do you have any plans to break into mainstream? Do you think there's a, there's a space for Bhangra music in the mainstream media? I think there is. I feel there is um, a space for Bhangra music, obviously because Punjabi MC, Mundi the Bajkiri mm -hmm. and other tracks as well. But I feel my mainstream is definitely Bhangra, Punjabi and Hindi and Bollywood because that's what I've, I've been brought up listening to. So for me that's mainstream, so I want to pursue my career in that field. So for you that's the mainstream yes, industry yes, yeah. and for you to get to the, that, to top of the number one position within this yeah. industry is more important. Definitely, de definitely. But what if like Universal Records gives you a call one day or Columbia Records or Sony BMG call you up and they're like, dude, I love your album, we want to sign you up. <laughs> What's your take um, on that? Um, I, I, would, I would go for it, obviously, I would go for it, but I would always sing in Punjabi and Hindi. Yeah? So you would never learn to speak in English? No, sing in English. What did I say? Speak in English. <laughs> 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 would you never um, want to sing in English? I like... I, I Can you sing in English? Um, I have tried. Is it different? It is different. How? Um, it's just... Certain, Other obviously. than the language and the dialect, <laughs> um, obviously, it's, it's. I think it's mainly down to the composition. Mm -hmm. Composition is very different um, to Punjabi, especially, and Hindi as well. And also uh, the vocal range. Well, the vocal range, obviously, Punjabi and Hindi, they have a, obviously a wide vocal range. Yeah. I think it's main, mainly down to the composition. Yeah, definitely, uh, composition. So you have no aspirations to sing in English. Uh, let's see. Might be. Maybe in yeah, the future maybe, we could yeah. have like an English album. Uh, not an English album. Maybe. No, definitely not. No, right. you're completely writing it off the table. Yeah, definitely. You're, you're true to your desi roots. Then. Yeah, definitely. To Punjabi and Hindi.